So today we're going to talk about the, some of the maneuvers required to deliver a breach vaginally. Now, even though cesarean section is much more common for breach, it still is uh, an issue and we need to train to deliver breach vaginally wherever we can, particularly when the woman arrives at, you know, in advanced labour. So the first thing is, as the mother's pushing, just really keep your hands off the breech. Uh, don't try and pull. The more you pull, the more likely you are to get a nuchal arm. This, this mother's really doing well. So you can see that often the legs will deliver spontaneously. However, if they don't, then it's worth just flexing the knees and bringing the legs down. Again, with this side, flex them, bring it down. Now then, put your fingers in the groins of the baby with your thumbs over the sacrum. It's really important then just to let the baby come down until you see the scapula, you can see it just there. Rotate the baby round in love sets manoeuvre. Then with the same finger as the same side as the shoulder, put your finger over the baby's shoulder into the anticubital fossa and flex the arm down. Now I recommend then roll it round again, use the other side's finger to get into the anticubital fossa and again, flex the arm down over the chest. Then with the pushing from the mother, pushing down, you can see the, the head, nape of the neck coming down. I would then use Moroso Smelly Vite for this. So for Moroso Smelly Vite, it's important to rest the baby's abdomen on your forearm. On the lower hand, press on the cheeks of the baby and the upper hand, press in the occiput to maintain flexion. So keep the chin on the baby's chest so that head doesn't become overextended. As the mother's pushing, then what I would do is stand up and maintain the flexion and deliver the baby in a J shape like that. Sometimes the uh, head doesn't descend enough for us to do more so smelly bite and it's important to have a think about maneuvers that can help descent so that we can deliver the baby and particularly the after coming head. So one of the things to do is superior pressure to maintain flexion of the baby's head. So Kathy, if we can do that, and that in of itself can be a useful maneuver. However, sometimes that doesn't work either. And it's important then to think about what is available for next steps. So Kathy, if you can get your assistant to hold the baby up whilst you place the blades. So it's a standard application of Keelan's. Uh, just pop them in laterally, just like you normally would. Let the blades come down a bit. And again on this side, again laterally, just let the weight of the blades come in like that. Just let the blades settle in, join them together. And Kathy, I'm gonna take the baby now, that's great. Let's rest the baby down. Then just like Moroso Smelly Vite, put your hand to flex the baby's head at the occiput and just stand up like a J shape to help to facilitate the birth of the after coming head. If you'd like to learn more about how prompt training can improve care on your labour ward or to sign up for our courses, please visit www.promptmaternity.org or email us on info at promptmaternity.org.